Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I wanted to talk to you about phytotoxicity, which is just a fancy way of saying um, compounds that uh, can kill your tomato. And the compound that damaged this tomato pretty badly was baking soda and me. And if you look at the yellowing leaves, these aren't disease. This is from burn, from a chemical that I applied to it. And phyto uh, toxicity is basically any chemical put on a tomato has a risk of it, it has a risk of being harmful to the plant. Now let me talk to you about the baking soda. The baking soda I was using two tablespoons per gallon of water and it worked well through the cooler months of April, May and the first week or two of June. What I learned is that the concentration of baking soda at two tablespoons per gallon is fine if the temperature is really under 90 degrees. But once the sunlight, um, not the sunlight, but once the temperatures get over 90 degrees, the combination of heat and baking soda at that concentration burns the leaves. And I know that this is burn because on a Tuesday night this week, I sprayed these uh, tomatoes with the baking soda spray and I also soaked the under leaves of the plants because I knew that it was going to be humid and that's usually when blight and um, leaf spot come. The tough thing is, is one, I've damaged my plants but I think that they'll be okay. But the baking soda spray worked. I have over 30 tomato plants here and I did not get leaf spot. Um, so what I've done now is I've cut the concentration of the spray to one tablespoon of baking soda per gallon. The other way that you can see that it's uh, damage from the baking soda is I also sprayed onto this kohlrabi leaves and this is not a disease. This is burn again from the baking soda sitting on here and again there was no issue with the baking soda while the temperatures were cool and you can get a close, I'll show you a close up of the burn and this is just burned tomato leaves from the baking soda and then the bottom leaves got it the most because I actually sprayed the tops and bottoms of them and as you come up taller the plants look better. You can see you know burns on these too and you want to say wow that looks like leaf spot or that looks like you know a disease but it's not. What happens is is the chemical spray uniformly sits on here but as uh, time goes by the concentration of the baking soda because there's liquid on it pools in certain places and it's that concentration that leaves these spots or burns on your plant. If it was leaf spot it would be much more on the bottom you'd see yellowing around them and it's a whole different pattern. But again you can damage your plants with sprays like I did with with these plants. The other thing that told me that it was burn was it was only the potato leaf, um, the big leaves and the uh, potato leaves, the brandy wines, that had the most damage. And you can check out my videos for more information about spraying in my blog too that talks about leaf burn. I'll just leave these guys alone and they should be perfectly fine. The tomatoes are okay. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.